Today we are going to solve a very interesting and relaxing challenge, which is x plus y equals 4 and xy is 16. Our job is to find the values of x and y. So, can you solve it? Now, before we start finding the solution analytically, first let us draw the graph of x plus y equals 4 and xy equals 16. It will be like this. Oh, look, both these graphs do not intersect, so it means that it is impossible to find its solution, right? No, that is not the case here. We can still find its solution, and that's why I made this video. And I think you might be wondering how. Yes, it is possible. But for that, we have to enter into the complex world. First, consider this equation. We can rewrite this y as 4 minus x. Now, substitute this y in this to get x times 4 minus x equals 16. This gives 4x minus x square equals 16, or rearrange them to get x square minus 4x plus 16 equals 0. Awesome! Now we can solve this quadratic equation using the quadratic formula. Compare this equation with this general one to get a as 1, b as minus 4, and c as 16. So x equals minus of minus 4 plus minus of minus 4 square minus 4 times 1 times 16 whole divide by 2. This gives x equals 4 plus minus. Under root of this becomes 16 minus 64 or minus 48 whole upon 2. Look, this minus 48 is under the root, and that's why we now have to go to the complex world. Under root minus 48 equals under root 16 times minus 3 or 4. Root 3i, where i is the imaginary number or root of minus 1. So this becomes 4 plus minus 4. Root 3i by 2, or 2 plus minus 2. Root 3i. Awesome. So now we first consider x equals 2 plus 2 root 3i. This gives y equals 4 minus x, or 4 minus this, which is 2 minus 2 root 3i. And if we consider x equals 2 minus 2 root 3i, this gives y equals 4 minus this, which is 2 plus 2 root 3i. So this is the pair of solutions we have for x and y. Amazing! If you followed the solution properly, then I have one more similar question for you, which is, if x plus 2y equals 6 and 2xy equals 96, then what will be the values of x and y? Were you able to solve it? Tell me the solution in the comments section. Also, if you like it, then don't forget to share this video with your friends and challenge them to solve the same. So good.